Hello, my name is Ernest Bondarenko and today I'm going to talk about sand in our food and if it's dangerous or not. Um, probably most of you have this experience of sand on your teeth, maybe some of the early childhood from the sandbox and others maybe have had some kind of picnic on a windy beach, but uh, you know what I'm talking about. Is it dangerous or not? In order to answer this question, we have to go to the times of the ancient Roman Empire. Uh, let's look at the inscriptions uh, on our uh, town hall. There is written Ivstitia, and it's pronounced Iustitia. Iu uh, was uh, written the same way as V. It's, it was written as V, but pronounced probably differently. And actually, some uh, scientists say that U and V has been pronounced the same way as uh, in Spanish B and V. Some uh, scientists say that people have had so much rough food and uh, so much sand in their food because well, Sahara Desert is nearby. If you have seen the map of the Roman Empire, all the people living around the Mediterranean Sea and uh, sand is uh, coming down on the crops and on the food and everywhere and the teeth of people were, were ground um, evenly so that uh, uh, B, V and U were pronounced more or less the same way. Maybe they were pronounced differently by, by uh, young people, but uh, who cares about young people? Uh, maybe uh, they were uh, perceived like uh, not uh, uh, not grown up enough to pronounce well. And the well pronunciation was, let's say, after 20 or 30 years when the man has become a man. Well, a lot of time has passed and uh, nowadays we have got rid from this abrasive sand in our food and uh, we don't grind the old way so that grinding stones uh, don't uh, fall apart into our food and don't give that much sand. Uh, but there are some problems like uh, we, uh, our generation is addicted to sugar and uh, we lose our uh, teeth one by one, not uh, grinding them evenly. And uh, actually, uh, in spite of getting rid of most of the sand, we are adding sand to our food as an anti-caking agent uh, in our floor, but it's ground so finely. Uh, it is dust. Is the sand dangerous? Uh, the sand is uh, silicon dioxide chemically and uh, or it is um, European additive E5Y1. Uh, it is inert. However, European Food Safety Authority is concerned that uh, too fine uh, dust uh, can be con carcinogenic. Why? Because all of the nanoparticles are uh, carcinogenic by definition. No one knows if the fine sand powder or silicon dioxide is indeed uh, carcinogenic, how much uh, it might be. But European Food Safety Authority uh, one day uh, might uh, uh, prohibit using this uh, additive. And right now uh, we, the food filter application that we are developing, uh, you can sort, you can check your food uh, with our uh, application. You just put the unwanted ingredients like uh, E551. It understands all of the uh, synonyms. Uh, either it is chemically written or the additive, whatever. And uh, if you add it as an unwanted ingredient into your profile, uh, you just check the barcodes with the application and see if it contains this additive or not. Uh, it can be anything. It can be a um, preservative or it can be a food coloring or uh, some allergen and it translates uh, everything to English if you are in Estonia or any other country. So uh, it, it should be a very useful tool. We are developing it and we need your support. Uh, the link for support is in description below. Uh, please feel free to help us. And uh, if you are in Estonia, just download it and use it. See you. Bye-bye.